Hey there everybody, in this video I'm going to review the Elwha Bike Fishing Hip Bag by Swift Industries. That's right, bike fishing officially has its own bag. Find out what I like and dislike about it in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers and if you're new to the channel, if you are into the supple life, all the fun and wacky things about contemporary bike culture, then you have found your people. So I'm going to say that this is officially the summer of bike fishing. Uh, we started that hashtag a couple years ago and it's finally taken off. If you're not already following along, be sure to check out the bike fishing hashtag on Instagram. And if you like to fish on your bike, please contribute. It's always fun to see how people carry their rods and gear and where fishing and bikes takes them. So the Elwha bag is a interesting collaboration between our friends at Swift Industries and Tenkara Rodco. Tenkara, as you know, or maybe you don't know, is a Japanese form of fly fishing, which has no reel, and it's basically a telescoping rod uh, with a fixed line. We've actually got a few videos on our channel about Tenkara. Be sure to check out those videos as well. The Elwha bag in biking mode attaches to your handlebars with these straps and these quick release buckles. Installation is pretty straightforward, but there is one thing to note that you're going to want at least nine inches uh, between the top of your handlebars and the top of your tire to use this bag so when you're biking it's not rubbing on your front tire. The bag has one large zippered compartment and in there there's some pockets and another internal zippered compartment. So lots of options for organization for your biking and your fishing gear. On the front of the bag there is another quick access zippered pocket. On the bottom of the bag there is some additional webbing straps and this is intended to uh, attach your Tenkara rod case to. I've also found that it works great with a uh, lightweight jacket. So if you want to pack a jacket with you on the bike or off the bike, you can also use those straps for that. And that's it for pretty much how it functions on the bike. It's straightforward, works like any other handlebar bag. Very cleverly tucked in the back is a waist strap. And what's unique about this waist strap is that there is a triangular piece of fabric, which is meant to be used with their uh, sidekick stem bag slash chalk bag. I think that's a great accessory because now you can carry things like water with you when you go fishing. You can carry it on the bike as a stem bag. Here in Montana, I found the sidekick super useful because I actually put bear spray in this. So I can have bear spray that's quickly accessible on the bike. I can also use the Molly buckles on the back and attach it to my wading belt when I'm on the river. So lots of uses. And I think if you're gonna get the Elwha, the Sidekick is a great upgrade to consider as well. So I actually like the waist strap quite a bit. That extra bit of fabric keeps things from uh, shuffling too much in place, even if you have a load. In terms of fishing specific features, you'll notice this patch on the front. You can actually remove that and reveal a uh, fly patch. So after you fish the fly and you wanna dry it out, you don't wanna stick it in your box right away. You can just put it on that kind of fuzzy area. Other fishing specific features are these little corded loops that you can use to attach things like nippers, hemostat, tippet holders, floating, all the dangly bits that you need to go uh, take with you when you go fishing. There's a place for it on this bag. So in fishing mode, I feel like it works pretty well if you like using a hip bag. I think if you're fishing with a Tenkara rod, there's not a whole lot of line management going on below your waist. So it works great for that application. I did find when I was fishing with a Western rod and I had uh, loops of line hanging down from the reel, it would kind of tangle in all the dangly bits. I did find a solution. I don't think this was a actual design intent, but it works pretty well. So what I've done is I've taken the neck strap from my uh, fish pond chest pack, which, and you can actually attach it to the Elwha and convert the Elwha into a chest bag. So this way all the dangly bits in your access pockets are a little bit higher up and this totally solves the problem of fly line getting tangled up around my waist. So not intended and not included, but definitely something you can do. And for me, it's, it's greatly improved my experience using this bag. So that's really it for the bag. It's nicely made like all the other bags that Swift Industries makes. It's cool to see an, another formal collaboration between a bike brand and a fishing brand. This bag makes a great multi-sport bag. Beyond just biking, beyond just fishing, you can take it hiking. I've gone on walks and put my watercolor supplies in here. So it's really a great multi-purpose bag. Yes, it's it's primarily marketed for bike fishing, but it's got tons of uses as well. So that's it for this review. If you have any other questions about the Elwha, leave those in the comments below. And if you like content like this, consider supporting the channel. This is how I keep this stuff going. You can either donate a little monthly via the PayPal subscription link or just a one-time donation. 
Really appreciate it. And until next time, keep the supple side down.